Anyway, so my mum called me on the phone and she she told me off and she said I need to get some um, housemates just so I learn to um, just um, talk to people. So I put the ad in the paper and then that's when Calvin, Calvin was actually, I think he was, he was the first one to apply. So he came in and we had an interview and it went very well. What skills do you think you would bring to the house? Cooking, bam. Cooking? Agility, grace, strength, tougher than Rocky, but probably not as tough as Rambo. If someone was to try and burgle the house, I would beat the shit out of them. Calvin style. Well, what really won me over was the specials. Um, he had a really, he had a really nice shoulder. I don't tell many people this, Devin, but I'll let you on a little secret. Because I like you. When I was in the war in Afghanistan, my shoulder got ripped apart by a bazooka, point blank range. Now it might not look like it much to the naked eye. Did you see this scar? That's where they inserted my bionic shoulder. 200 kilogram deadlift. Ugh! Ugh! If you were a superhero, what would you call your name? Probably. Calvin the Bionic Shoulder Man, or Calvin, just Calvin, Super Calvin. Calvin, um, on your application, it's okay, but um, it says you've been in 12 houses in the last Devin, 12 months. Devin, Devin, Devin. Yes, I've been kicked out, slash left 12 houses in 12 months. Because they couldn't handle the Calvin, Devin. Can you handle the Calvin? Um. Devin, can you handle the Calvin? Devin, can you handle the Calvin? Devin, God damn it! Can you handle the fucking Calvin? I will fucking come in there in the shadows of <laughs> Calvin, Calvin, Calvin. Can you handle it, Devin? Like a fucking elite commando. I'm in the grass, I'm in the mud, I'm crawling in, I got war paint on, I'm fucking shooting you. Can you handle the Calvin? Um, um, I am going to handle the Calvin. That's right, Devin! Yes! Now turn around! Ugh! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Are we gonna deal? Can you handle the Calvin? I know you can handle the Calvin. Yes. What do I bring to the table? What don't I bring to the table? Um... Oh, well, I found myself in this house, uh, well, a few months ago now. I was uh, working for a major, uh, major company in the east, selling merchandise door to door. When, when Alex arrived at the front door, I thought he was like a religious sort of person or something. He smelled a bit and it looked like he doesn't, didn't have a, a proper home. Knock, knock, knock. To the door, Devin answers. And we, and because my mum keeps asking me to um talk to people, I may I talked to him for a little bit, and he looked really pathetic. So I thought I could help him out. So I, I let him have the other room. He invites me inside, and it's obvious. It's obvious the man needs my help. He needs someone to rent that back room. I'm the guy to come in, pick up the pieces for him. I told him he didn't have to pay rent for about two months because he just didn't look like he could afford it. Shortly after moving in, I uh, got my current job uh, with Frankie and it's just been fantastic ever since. Uh... I have 200 bucks. I do not have 200 bucks. Mate, I am dying here. I am literally dying here. They are crucifying uh... me at work. <sighs> to be honest, I don't even know why we're getting another house, mate. This is ridiculous. The rent is like, it couldn't be much lower. Full story, but I owe, I owe someone a lot of money now. I can't keep paying this rent. And this is going to help me, man. you got to help me. you got to talk to Dylan. Dylan, we'll get yeah. in the house, man. Yeah. All right? I'll look after you. Thank you. Calvin, the big dog. You owe me. Thanks, Calvin. Get the fuck out of here.
between you and me, you know. American accent, not real. You know, the guys don't know, so, um, you know, I just, I think that if you want to be something, you got to give it 110%, like, you know, if I want to be an American sports star, I have to really, I mean, how many famous Australian sports stars do you know? You know, it's like, one? I, I can't even think of one. Melbourne? Melbourne. Like, that's, I'm just going to, in fact, this is, this is the last time. That was the last time you were going to hear my Australian accent. It's gone now. The Calvin is back and... I'm going to the top, baby. I'm going to be number one. I'm going to be like the American sports king. The fucking king. Watch this space. Watch this face. Okay. 